have you ever realized that most people who are diabetic or people who have these chronic conditions, even arthritis, even cancer, have you ever realized that these people know their medicines very well? They even know the colors. They even know if the drugs has changed. They even know the companies. But the same, same people have zero information or even very little information about the disease. Have you ever realized that? Like your grandfather, like your father, like your cousin, your aunt, all of them, specifically these people who are a little older, they totally know their drugs, not even older, even the youths. They know their medicines. They take those medicines faithfully. They buy these medicines on time. But they don't even know what they are treating. They don't even know the disease. Most of the clients that I interact with, I always ask you a question. If you've interacted with us before, I always ask a question. What is this condition that you're suffering from? Or what did your doctor tell you about this condition? And then they tell me, one, I was told I have sukari. If I'm diabetic, I was told I have sukari or I have pressure. And then number two, I was told that it is irreversible, so therefore I have to manage it as I take these drugs, and I'll take these drugs for a lifetime. And then I sit back and I say, hey, how bad is the system that one, we don't give these people information, and number two, if we are giving them information, we are loading them with the wrong information. We are actually selling them the fear. And that is possibly one of the differences in healthcare that I provide and the normal healthcare that you're used to. And I realize it's so hard to help you unlearn most of the things. And most people actually don't want to be saved. I also realize that. Like most, most people who are suffering from chronic conditions, they don't want to be saved. They simply believe that drugs will actually save their lives from the foods that they are eating. So they believe that as they eat the bad foods, medicines are actually coming in to change their lives. So keep eating the bad foods. You will simply take drugs, and these drugs will help you change your situation, even though you're still eating the same foods. Now, unlearn that. It's one of the most uh, misguided statements or beliefs that you're supposed to have in your head. Number two, I realize that most of my clients who have chronic conditions, they own up the disease. They actually believe they are diabetic, and then they, it's now their disease. So I am diabetic. These are statements that we need to actually start changing because when you own that disease and you believe, you become. So we need to start changing the mindsets of our people in regards to these chronic conditions. So what is diabetes? Because I know most of you don't actually know what diabetes is. Most of you still think that diabetes is high blood sugars. That is hyperglycemia. That is not diabetes. Now, as we continue eating the sugars, because diabetes is a sugar disease, as we continue eating the sugars, what is happening to us is we are loading ourselves with this glucose. Remember, glucose is very okay. There's no problem with this glucose. It is very okay because cells use glucose. But I always tell you, the only reason why your cells are stuck to using glucose as energy is because you have never provided them with an alternative energy because they are designed to survive. Therefore, if you load them with glucose all the time, they are actually reluctant because they are waiting for you to bring in glucose. Okay, so that they can use. They actually don't have to struggle to get the glucose. That's why burning fat to lose weight is very hard because your system in general has just been accustomed to actually eating uh, or utilizing glucose as energy. And you're bringing in glucose, which does not require a lot of energy to just burn. Okay, unlike fat, you'll require a lot of energy and effort to burn the fat to get either the glucose or glycerol, or the ketone bodies. So it'll require a lot of effort to burn the fat. But the body is used to glucose all the time. Why is the body used to glucose? It's because you're feeding it with glucose, of course. That's what we do. 90% of our plates are carbohydrates. I'll repeat this. In the morning when you take your tea that has milk, that has sugar, and then bread that has margarine, you've taken about 95% of that as carbohydrates. Because when you boil milk, shifts from being a protein you destroy the protein structure you actually change the protein structure you destroy the fat structure in the milk you kill the microorganisms in the milk and therefore you just remain with lactose which is a carbohydrate so you're remaining with carbohydrate which is lactose you're adding on sugar which is glucose or sucrose which is basically fructose and glucose and then you're eating bread which is basically a simple carbohydrate that's another glucose plus gluten you're adding on margarine or honey honey is sugar so that's another sugar. 
or another carbohydrate for those of you who use margarine that is a seed oil then you're putting you're adding on two sausages or smokies that is processed red meat so as i look at your table i'm wondering what is the nutritional value of this table there's nothing here there's nothing here so you we are actually used to feeding our systems with carbohydrates and that is the norm when you eat your rice and beans all carbohydrates when you eat chapati and beans all carbohydrates then you add in uh, maybe cabbages as your vegetables cabbages also have fiber that is a carbohydrate okay and then you've cooked the vegetables in seed oil so no nutritional value that is now fiber all carbohydrates then you add in uh, for our guys from central kenya you add in our roux this irish potato another starch basically carbohydrate which is actually very very adulterated Irish potatoes are one of the foods that are actually so genetically modified and they are so much produced on large scale so the chemicals the glyphosates the herbicides are all logged in into that Irish potato that you eat and you call it chips or french fries they are deep fried in seed oils and then you use tomato paste that has no tomatoes it is literally fructose and that is a carbohydrate so imagine you if you're taking that breakfast you're taking your lunch as chapati and dondo so chapati and beans and then you're taking your dinner as ugali vegetables and two pieces of meat because your nutritionist won't do against taking meat okay so you're suffering the consequences of actually a very bad diet so i'm looking at your plate i'm seeing everything is carbohydrate from morning all the way to night but when i ask you uh, how is your diet you're so fast to tell me ah my diet is okay i eat a balanced diet Then when we get into this balanced diet we start on learning you start wondering have i just been doing all the wrong things because the reality is by the time you're thinking to come to me to find solutions for your health problems you are in trouble so at least at that moment in time accept yourself because most of you are always living in denial you're always living in denial so uh but before i just continue allow me to just put up the contact i realized everybody is asking me for the contact my consultation contact so i want to put it up here and pin it 0707074722 for those of you who are uh, actually uh, want to to reach us out on consultation both online and physical consultation you can use that contact that i'm pinning up there good use that contact to get to us book your appointment we will make sure that you get the best services ever